Oh, what my goodness. Gosh. I mean, I totally forgot that it was an angel chair. First I, so had I. That was 2010. That was the ultimate Big Brother in 2010, oh. when everybody thought it was going to be the very last Big Brother and Davina conducted a funeral service for it. Do you remember? I do remember. And then Channel 5 bought it and it carried on <laughs> and on. And now <laughs> it's like going on to happens, ITV. Though. So was, do I. I love it. the first celebrity one, though? No, no. The first celebrity one, which I was on, was uh, 2001. And uh, that was uh. the one with Chris Eubank and Who Jack D. Jack, uh, Jack D won it, and Anthea was on it. Anthea Turner, Claire Sweeney, um, Keith Duffy from Boyzone. That's yeah, what Jack D climbed out, didn't he? I well, it, no, he if you believe over that, the wall. if you believe that, oh, is it a little bit? Well, I don't know. He did come back with his with his cheeks. Do you remember with camouflage oh, with yeah. mud? And actually, the whole place was concrete. There was no mud anyway, so nobody quite knew, even inside the house, what was really happening. Then it was very uh -huh. mysterious because it was the first ever celebrity Big Brother and the first ever celebrity anything. You hadn't seen any celebs on a reality show ever before, and none of us knew what to expect. Vanessa, had you even watched Big Brother before you went into Celebrity? There had been one real Big Brother, the one with Nasty Nick obviously, yeah. the one which, which Craig won. And massive. most people came to it sort of halfway through. When Nasty Nick started being nasty, it was like, oh, my God, have you heard about this show? Oh, my God. So I had seen that, but there had never been a Celebrity Big Brother or Celebrity Anything, and we didn't get paid. It was for comic relief. Oh, and right. it was only a week long, and it was half shown on the BBC and half on Channel 4. And when we went in, none of us knew if anybody would even bother watching it. We didn't know what we were doing. So was you quite bored in there? What, what, was, what was the vibe? I wasn't bored at all. It all was just, like, the biggest kind of psychological mind game I'd ever been in in my life. A huge door clanged shut behind us. There were dogs, there was barbed wire. It was really kind of a horrible, scary feeling. I saw my children receding mm. uh, over a bridge. They looked sort of much thinner and much paler than they had four hours earlier when I'd seen them that morning. It all seemed very, very dramatic. And then the very first yeah. night when we had to nominate and uh, Chris Eubank and Anthea Turner were nominated for eviction. Oh, yeah. And when Anthea was evicted, she burst oh, into yeah. tears. Oh. And suddenly the whole thing this got terribly surprising. personal I was, I was going to say, when you all went in it, did you think, because it was the first time that had been done as a celebrity reality yeah, show, did yeah. you all kind of think, oh, it'll be all right, they'll come in with cups of teas and coffees? Totally. And, yeah. That's exactly what we thought. We all just thought, well, you know, we'll, we'll knit something, we'll paint something, it'll be fine. But then it kind of descended into kind of total psychological disintegration. Uh, and I think I was the pioneer, my children say I was the pioneer <laughs> of completely falling apart on reality TV and sobbing my guts well, off. Seriously, no one I had did. ever seen that before. Never. No one had seen celebrities cry on TV. Exactly. What, most like, what they're like at home. Yeah. You know what <laughs> exactly. I mean? Yeah, you know, exactly. Because you, know, you go on telly, you put the smile and everything exactly. else. Everyone has lives and, <laughs> and, and issues and what have you. And kind of like... That experiment really brought it out in, in a few years. Exactly, but I mean, when, when we went in, we had no idea that when we came out, I can't remember, it was something like 25 million people at some point had watched it. Everyone was talking about it. It was a really, really big deal, but we didn't know it would be. We hadn't the faintest idea. It was the very first one ever. So when you came out, what was people's reaction? God, to that? when I came out, I think I got 7,000 letters. Stop it. Some of them just addressed to like Vanessa, Big Brother, Vanessa, the house, and they come and live with us. You seem upset. You know, come bring your kids, come and stay in our back bedroom. You know, really sweet, really, really lovely letters. And um, it was all just kind of much, much more of a thing, a big phenomenon than, than, than we had the faintest idea it could ever be. And I'm glad it's still going on, because I love it. Shows Wonderful how long ago program. it was. Letters. Yeah, no, letters. With no, stamps. People writing. Postmen with sacks of letters. But the weirdest thing is, you wasn't supposed to write in Big Brother and you wrote on the table. Well, they gave you us a, a rebel. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yes. Do you remember? Yes. Well, do I remember what you mean? People talk to you me about it every day. You were a rebel, weren't you? I was. But I told Big Brother to F off, which was <gasps> very, very rude. Oh, you would never and catch us doing shocking. that. shocking. And then I wrote all these words that meant, you know, isolated, immured, immolated, all kinds of words like that. Because I thought, there's nothing to read in here. I'll read them when I go home. Or I read them when, you know, when... <laughs> and then they said, give back the chalk. I didn't fancy giving back the chalk. And then, oh, gosh. And it all Love seemed it. like a big deal then. It doesn't now, obviously. Oh, it was ama it's an amazing time. Are you excited about this big brother I coming? Wait, and I mean, some of the people who I think are going in. I mean, the speculation. I've been reading well, it online. They're saying, Who, they're saying, well, they're saying Sharon Osbourne. Yeah. I and know. I know her, and I mean, we all have an idea of her, but I've worked with her. She's fabulous. That would Louis be a good Walsh catch. as well. They're Louis, Wa well, Louis so Walsh good. is such a chatterbox yeah. and such a gossip. I mean, he's going to be such a great Britain. I hope Fern Britain goes in. I'd love <gasps> is to see Fern going in? Apparently. Oh, I'd love that. This is a bit old school, I like this. Yes, and I like Ekin Sue's going in. Oh, my goodness. She's great.
isn't she? Oh, if, so they, if they're right, if they're, if they're to be believed. I think it's going to be a fantastic cast and I can't wait because it's an amazing show. And, and, and you know, people, somebody becomes the leader, somebody falls in love, yeah. somebody, as I did, falls apart completely and <laughs> sobs all over the furniture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's always something, isn't there? And somebody the tweezes their nasal hairs and you yeah. feel really sorry for it. You know, it's really great, the whole thing. Well, listen, we're so excited about it. I don't want this chat to... And they're saying go to a break. I'm like, we're talking about Big Brother, but... Oh, yeah. but wait to see it. You was wonderful in Big Brother. You're what about you? Life. What about you? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. What about you? Listen, we're about